no, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Welcome to DTLT today. Welcome to DTLT today. Hey, Hi, everybody. Folks. How's it going? So. We on DTLT today have a special show today. We're actually going behind the scenes um, with a class being taught at York College, part of the City University New of New York system, uh, by Michael Branson Smith and Daniel Phelps. And uh, they're teaching a version of what we call DS-106, or digital storytelling. It's their own version. It's got their own narrative. Um, their narrative is Journey to the Center of the Internet. <laughs> and uh, it's actually run by Professor Olivia. Olivier, what's his full name? This is Michael Branson Smith who's with us. What's his full name and what's his deal? It's Professor Oliver Lindenbrook. He's this uh, Linden. fancy guy, and so you can see this is what he's, he's asking me to, to, to wear. Um, <laughs> he's kind of old school university, and talking like 1890s kind of version of university. He, he really feels that it's important to, to teach your students in a, in a proper way. And, He's, he, he's supposed to be, you know, he calls himself a, 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 a digital story historian. I mean, I'm not quite sure. And, you know, I, I agree to be part of it. I'm excited to have him. And, you know, he's, 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 he's a unique man. And so he's going to be leading us because he's the one who has this, this uh, clue. He found this, this, this object that is on the Internet, and he, he, it, it, which, which signifies a gateway to the center of the Internet. So that's why he's aboard. Otherwise, I, I just I wouldn't be able to take it. I have a question for you, Michael. Um, let me ask you, where did you get the lab coat? Because for me, that is the best aesthetic I have seen. I mean, I remember there's like in 70s movies that computer technicians used to use lab coats. And I want to know where you got the lab coat and how does the lab coat play into the narrative? Um, well... I used to be a chemist, actually, so you know, I'm just wearing clothes out of my closet. Um, and you know, that... was this, uh, that, that, but that's a different life. And so, I mean, I, 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 I'm a man of science, you know, not just a, a man of, uh, of, of fine arts. Is that tweed underneath the lab coat? Well, this is, uh, this is my father-in-law's. Okay. Right here. And this is my, 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 my tie is vintage, uh, 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 like a... Uh, my wife's uh, a sweater. <laughs> but I love also your wardrobe, how it's kind of reckoning back to an old school technological moment. Like, like I said, computer yeah. technicians in the 70s and 60s used to wear lab coats. And there was this idea of the industrial nature of the computer, something we've kind of gotten away from. But um, how does your class and how does this kind of notion of DS-106 in the narrative kind of relate to technology? Like, is it industrial vision of the center? I mean, if there's a center of the internet, there's something beautiful about that figure. There, there's a, I think the idea is like, I loved how uh, the science, you know, the scientist was the doctor, was the inventor. They were all the same person. You know, there was no differentiation. So I think the idea is that now uh, you get to be that kind of mad scientist again, right? You know, and, and you, because you have this, opportunity to play with all these crazy tools and you know there's no one saying that you can't be the creator the inventor you know you can build tools you can use tools you can tell stories you know you look at and so we'll see i think that's kind of that old school theme of science and technology it's like, it's so this all one person you can do it all yourself so this is how hg wells then would teach digital yeah. storytelling absolutely i think so yeah and let me ask you, say, you know, let's get going right now and, and, uh, and, uh, and strap on all the gear that we need. That's, that's next week because I think we're going to talk about the, our gear. You know, I'm going to have my canteen with me and my, my pack and, uh, you know, do a little yodeling on top of the mountain. <laughs> and, and, then, uh, and then talk about all the things that you need to have with you as you start your journey. Well, also, you have a pretty, it looks like you have a pretty bitchin' studio there. And you have students yeah, who are running. You want to see that? We can, we can give you, we can have a push the laptop around so you can see what's We'd going love on it. here. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, do, do a little spin around. And then go the other way. So we, we, so we, we yeah, we're, we're, our, our major is it's called communications technology, and we're, our video production heavy, but, you know, we've been whacking around. Well, actually, that's Robert over there. I was going to say, somebody's um, lurking in the shadows. Hi, Robert. <laughs> That's Robert. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> He's a weird so, yeah, looking lurker. We, we used to do a lot of TV, and there were, I, I actually put a couple links in my post um, um, of all the, how this course used to be conducted as a portrait doc course. And it's awesome. It's still storytelling. I mean, it's the same kind of stuff, but it was just TV. And so we're, we're interested in like this being a foundation, you know, buying into the domain of your own thing so that as they build all these like you know, storytelling skills with technology. Because, you know, when I went to art school and made stuff, no one was like saying, hey, you got to put this up there right now. It's like, wait, it's perfect before you put it out there. And um, so I'm just not into that anymore. And so they they would spend previously, like most of the semester, working on this little portrait document. Lots of cool stuff, but they would struggle with not getting as much feedback as they were going. And so this way, I think it's going to be, you know, doing the DS-106 style intro course for our majors and then they'll have that domain for the rest of the time that they're in college and they'll just make better and better stuff and put it out there. You know, and hopefully they'll stay in the playground of DS-106 too, because I think that's what's really Yeah, I like the idea of it you know? immediately contributing into a community that people can give them feedback on. And as that comes in, that's be interesting. Yeah. Now, do the students who work right now in your lab or in your, your studio, are they also taking this class or are they upperclassmen in the same program? They're upperclassmen, so they didn't get the. Uh, they, they're, they're about to leave right as this change is happening. Really? <laughs> but I, Dan is supposed to be playing along, but I haven't seen him put his domain up yet, so I don't know what's going on, Dan. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that. Nice. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he better get his, his stuff together because he, he if he wants to keep working for me. He's got to represent. <laughs> right? Wow, called out on national <laughs> TV. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, come on. If I'm gonna get get dressed up like this, he's got he's got a lab coat here. You can show himself up. Come here, get, get your lab coat. Up. Yeah. He's supposed to be doing some work too. So. Lab coats are awesome. I mean, because I'm I'm gonna be fumbling around. Dan Dan needs to have his little moment here. Um, Dan, if the funny thing is that Dan just graduated. He, he majored in communication technology, but the bastard wants to leave us and go into uh, physicians assistant program. So. <laughs> so this this this, this is a Dan though. There, there's my nice. man. Nice. He looks good though. He's not old fashioned enough. He's too old, you know, like Jamaica Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's from the Avenue, so he's got. He's like got the good. double-breasted lab you know. coat. That's right. It's nice. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's all. You know, he, he's somebody you'd actually want to be your doctor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I, if I showed up in the ER, he'd probably like say, "No, I'm okay." <laughs> So what's the plan so, to, to record this and broadcast? Yeah, how are you doing that? Oh, we're going on DS-106 TV as soon as you guys are done. So, so done what do you, what, what's, we're what's kind of your setup? I mean, Doc, Doc, Professor Oliver said he'd be here, and he's, he's having his tea right now. He'll be back. Yeah. And, and once we're done, I, I think I can get him up, and he's going to go live on DS-106 TV. And, you know, hopefully he'll get through the episode without too much help. I mean, I think he might get some help from... Some you know, some people out there that, that, are, that are pretty good. Good. Right? He might need the help. The Internet's a big place. He's going to yeah. need help. So, I mean, I don't want him to hurt himself because he is a little clumsy and, um, and sometimes befuddled by all the things that we're trying to, you know, he, again, like he said he knows his stuff, but you can see he only has like about 10 tweets, so he clearly is trying to figure things out. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Well, we'll have to see how this unfolds. We're looking forward to it. Journey to the center of the internet is a, it's a beautiful metaphor for what yeah. this process should be. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, thanks. All right, thanks a lot. And I guys. love the video stuff. This is amazing. Looks oh, great. Oh, we're gonna make a lot of crazy videos. We'll it. get better at this. Uh, this what well, we we kiboshed ourselves because this the studio is filled with a lot of new equipment, so we're still figuring it out. And Danny's Danny's being very uh, overly. Uh, Indulgent of me saying, okay, I'll figure it out even though it's it's not ready. <laughs> but it's cool. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you get it ready. Just gotta, That's right. Just gotta use it. So, awesome. so, uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be back on with Dr. Oliver and about uh, Professor Oliver in about five ten. All right. Minutes. Okay. All right. We'll Sounds see good. you then. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks, Michael. Right. Take care. And thank you for watching yeah. DTLT today. Um, Again, we had other people yeah. kind of do the work for us. Right. Yeah, kind of, I mean, I, lurk. I love lurking and looking in on his studio and seeing what's happening there. Very much. That's so. a lot of fun. Yeah. And I love the idea that they have a full blown studio with yeah. lighting and everything. Mm -hmm. so. We need one of them. Oh, wait, Jim. Oh. Wait one second. What's up? Are you guys off? Or We're still, still on? on. We're signing off.
All right, sign off. Want me to sign off? No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, whatever you guys want. I mean, I. You'll hear the whole thing. <laughs> Talk to us. Talk to us. We're, We're online. Open. No, We're to, open. I, 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 you're gonna, Jim, you're gonna help us. Professor Oliver, if he needs it, right? Of course I am. I'm worried. I'm, worried I'm, I'm here oh, for him. Cool. Yes. All right, good. All right, good. I'm yeah. getting ready right now. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little All right. All right. We're signing. We're, signing, we're checking. All right. All right. Thanks, See you Mike. later. Sounds good. Yeah. And, yeah. and we ought to head over to DS106.tv. Exactly. As slash you check out what happens here. So we can see what's happening there. Yeah, you never know. It sounds like this guy might need some help. Right. So we're signing off as well for now. So thanks again for watching another DTLT Today episode. See y'all later. In the bag. <laughs>